Hello, it's me, Julie, here at Entrada, the fitness center. I'm gonna give you a little demonstration today of what we incorporate in our chair stretch class until we can see each other face to face, which is hopefully in the near future. In the meantime, stay happy and healthy. And uh, here we go, let's get started by taking a deep breath. Inhale, reach overhead and exhale and just let your arms fall at your sides. I'm sort of at the end of the chair so my feet can be flat. Nice bend in the knees and comfortable. Again, inhale, reach, exhale, let the arms fall. Good, nice deep breath, one more. Inhale and exhale. Good, we're gonna take it to a side to side movement where I'm gonna reach down towards the floor with one arm and up to the ceiling with the opposite. A little bend in this, this side of the body, the waist up through the rib cage and then switch. Reaching down and reaching overhead. Give a little bend without falling out of your chair, of course. Just a nice comfortable bend from side to side. Stretching through the waistline. One more each side. Again, we'll take a deep breath, exhale as we bend. One always wanna exhale and ease into the movement or into the stretch. Nice, last one there. This one, what I want you to do is reach your arms overhead and turn and rotate through your midsection or through your torso. Look to one side of the room and then let your arms fall. I've got the back of the chair, so I'll just stop at that point and then I'll take them overhead and I'll twist and rotate to the other side and let my arms fall to about shoulder level. Let's do again, inhale, twist, exhale, release. And last time to the other side. Just kind of stretching through the back and through the spine and loosening up. Last one. And now let your arms just relax at your sides and roll your shoulders back and down. And starting from the top and working our way down today. That being said, let's do a little relaxation, a little bigger movement here and we'll lead with the elbow. And I want you to take one side and take the elbow like you're drawing circles with your elbow towards the front of the room and then back and around and really opening up through your shoulder and through those chest muscles. One more and then we'll take it even bigger. Full arm extension here. If your sh shoulders are tight or you have limited mobility through your shoulders, your circle doesn't have to be this big. I like to turn a bit and follow my movement of my arm as it goes all the way around. We'll reach up, sort of coming out of the seat of the chair to the crown of the head and then open through the shoulder and take it all the way back down and around. Uh, and one more time. Inhale, I'll reach. Exhale, come around. Let's start with the elbow on the other side. Other arm, circle it around. Using the breath that helps the muscles relax, helps get them lots of oxygen circulation two more and then we'll do that full arm circle making it even bigger so let's take the arm long take it out in front reach it to the ceiling really reach here and then come around nice and slow and you don't have to have bare feet but I find it to be more relaxing and more comfortable and you're at home so that's always nice. Find your favorite chair, your most comfy chair. We're gonna do one more again. We'll inhale, reach up, exhale, circle it around. Nice. And now just letting your arms dangle and shake them out a little bit here. All right, sitting comfortably, let your head fall to one side. Ear coming close to the shoulder, take a deep breath and let your head roll forward, dropping your chin towards your chest. And then on over to the other side. We're just gonna do that same thing going back the other way. So inhale, exhale, let your head roll. Loosening up through the sides of the neck, the back of the neck, where we all tend to carry lots of stress. I want you to hold it on one side now, getting that ear really close to the shoulder, as close as you feel comfortable. And if you wanna add light touch on the side of the head, Gentle pull, not a ton, and that's optional. I like the light touch of fingertips on the, just above the ear. I'm gonna take my opposite arm and reach it out to the side about shoulder level. I'm gonna turn my hand and palm's gonna go up towards the ceiling. 
And then slowly rotate and turn the palm down to the floor. And I'm gonna do that uh, one more time. Palms going up and palm down. And now I'm gonna draw little tiny circles going forward. So you can feel that connection down through the neck and into the shoulder. Let's take those circles back. Get nice and easy. Now I wanna take this arm that's extended out to the side and slowly wrap it back behind me. So I've got a bit of space between the back of the chair and my back so that I can slip my arm back behind me and really help open up again through the shoulder and through the chest. And this hand is optional. If you just wanna let that arm hang and your head hang, getting the ear close to the shoulder, that's fine too. One more deep breath. So releasing the fingertips if you haven't already, unwrap that arm and let your head simply roll on over to the other side and we'll do the same thing here. Getting the ear nice and close to the shoulder. Add on the fingertips just above the ear if you want. Good, we'll take the arm out. So it's lengthening straight out from the shoulder and then we'll rotate, turning the palm up towards the ceiling. and then the palm down towards the floor. Hoping you're feeling the stretch all the way to your fingertips. And one more, palms going up. And palm down. Now we'll draw those small circles going forward, loosening up through the neck. And little circles going back now. Great, let's take this arm that's extended and we'll slowly wrap it back behind us. Now here, again, if you wanna just let that arm hang or fingertips to give it a gentle pull. Really helps open up through the chest and shoulder as well as a good stretch for the neck. Okay, we'll take the fingertips off, unwrap the arm, and let's just take the head from side to side a few more. Inhale, exhale, let your head roll forward, dropping your chin towards your chest. And one more time. Great. So lay bringing your head back to center and just roll the shoulders back once again. Let's work a little bit with our uh, lower body. And uh, if you can, Take one leg and extend it out in front. So here I have my toes down towards the floor. My leg is long without locking out my knee, but my leg is relatively straight um, at the end of my chair. So what I want to do here is flex my foot, trying to get my toes to point way up towards the ceiling or even a little bit back towards my heart. And then I'm going to move forward just a little bit in the chair as I try to take my toes down towards the floor. And then I'll go ahead and raise them up and flex the foot. And last time, we're gonna let the toes come down towards the floor. Our leg is nice and long, other foot flat on the floor. And I just want you to hinge at your waist and see if you can bring your chest down close towards your leg. So I'll lift up again, and then I'll take a deep breath. And as I exhale, I'm gonna come forward. Think about your tailbone kind of pressing towards the back of the chair. Your chest is coming down towards your legs. You can even reach down towards the floor, towards your toes, or we're anywhere in between. Hands right here on the thighs is fine as well. I just want you to hold here for a few more seconds and take another deep breath. On the exhalation, if you can, get a little bit further. This is a big stretch for those hamstrings. We'll get the glutes in there and the lower back. It's nice not to wor worry about balance, though, because you're here in a seated position, which is great. Good, slowly just make your way back up. You've been walking your hands back up your legs and we're gonna switch it up. Place that foot flat on the floor, leg bent, and we'll straighten out the other one. So here I'm elongating, toes gently coming to the floor. If you feel like you're getting a cramp in your uh, arch of your foot, <laughs> don't strain quite that much as, on this flexion especially. So 
this kind of stretching or flexing the front of the leg and the shin. You'll get a little bit more shin there at the flexion and then the point. Uh, feeling both of these actually in the top of the ankle and the top of the foot, which is nice. We're gonna do one more where we flex the foot, toes going way up, and then toes down. And here we'll keep them down towards the floor. Take a deep breath, I'm gonna lift up tall, and then exhale, and I'm just gonna fold at my waist, bringing my chest down towards my legs. Reaching if you would like. Or just letting your arms simply hang. But because your head is probably falling down lower than your heart, be really careful on the return, so go very slowly. So again, take one more breath. Deep breath. And then slowly come up. I recommend trying to stretch it five to 10 minutes a day, every day. It's like the only part of fitness you could do every day. I definitely recommend it. Nice job. Now we're gonna take one other leg. We'll cross it over ankle just above your knee. So this is a stretch in itself, just getting the leg in that position. <laughs> so we'll sit up tall, comfortable. Again, we're at the end of the chair. I want you to take your knee and give it a little hug. So you're gonna raise it up towards your chest or upper body. Give it a little hug. And now, without putting a ton of pressure on it, I want you to let your leg fall out and away or down towards the floor. And we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna give it a little hug. And this time, as you hug, I want you to turn towards your knee or rotate towards your knee. And this will get into those glutes and the hip a little bit better here. We'll hug it, we'll rotate. So I'm kind of turning my shoulders towards the knee that I'm hugging, giving it a gentle pull. Now I'm going to release the hug, rotate back around, let my knee fall out and away from my upper body. And then again, like when we were hinging forward just then for the hamstrings here, we're gonna take a deep breath. We'll lift up tall and exhale and come forward again. Our legs are gonna come down, or sorry, our chest down towards our legs. So it's like this folding chair. We're just gonna fold in half and relaxing down. And everybody, always in a different position. That's what I'd like to say in the stretch class. Everybody looks different. So just do what you can do and you just never want to force a stretch. Easing into it. It's really important. And holding the positions as long as you want. I recommend 10 to 20 seconds for each stretch. So come on up, slow and easy once again. And we'll uncross the leg and we'll switch. Cross the other one over. If you can, rest your ankle just above your knee. And a lot of times one side of the body is a lot tighter than the other. I'm feeling that. <laughs> We're going to hug the knee up. We're going to raise the knee up. Give it a little help. Hugging the knee towards the chest. And then we'll gently let it fall away, even assisting it a tad. Again, no forcing. And then we're gonna let it rise up. This time we're hugging the knee and we're gonna rotate. So I'll lift up a little bit here, allowing me to twist or rotate. As I hug the knee, I'll turn towards my knee, turning my shoulders away and towards my knee that I'm hugging. That just gives a pull there. You'll feel that connection between your glutes and your lower back and your hamstrings, all that's connected. Sometimes if those glutes and hamstrings are tight, they tend to tug on the muscles of the lower back. We'll unhug, we'll twist back around. We'll let the knee fall away, even assisting it if you like. Now I want you to lift up tall, take a deep breath, exhale, and you're just gonna bring your chest down towards your legs. Let the arms fall if you want, let the head hang, whatever's most comfortable. This is one of my favorite stretches, especially in the chair. Coming back, super slow. And now, I want you to uncross that leg. We're gonna go back to the other leg, placing both feet on the floor to start. But what we'll do is raise this foot off the floor, whichever one you didn't just do, so switch again. And I want you to hug the knee, round through the back, kind of cradling the knee, rounding through your back, dropping your chin towards your chest, and just rotate your ankle. So here again, we'll get a stretch for the lower back. 
and always love to get that circulation going with those ankle rotations. So go ahead and switch directions. And we'll switch it up. Release the foot, place it on the floor. Take this other guy up, give it a little hug. We'll round through the shoulders even. This is a nice stretch for the shoulder girdle. Open up through those shoulder blades, hug it in, and then rotate your ankle. Go in one direction and reverse. Good, releasing, coming up. Ah, this is just a small sample of what we do here in Chair Stretch here at Entrada Fitness Center. I miss you all and I hope to see you soon. Stay happy and healthy. Bye for now.